There's so much about you that no one knows. Thanks for keeping my secrets. Like that mower in the back of your mouth, the one that is sensitive and hurts when I brush it, or the tooth on the bottom, a canine, I think is what you call it, that collects food and keeps it even when I do brush. Thankfully, I only smile with my upper jaw. Oh, and the chipped tooth I have, dead center, no one seems to notice that. Our secret, right? I think we've done a good job together on that one because I really do love my smile. Not just for how it looks, but for what it says. You smile with your whole face, your eyes, your cheeks, so many creases and lines. Keep those for me. And your nose, why is it so big? Don't just tell me it's the Italian in us. My uncle took a DNA test and it says we're more Greek anyway. But I need a favor here too. Don't tell anyone what you have in you. The long hairs I have to pluck out or how if I push up on the bottom, all the white stuff comes out. Even though people tell me, oh, you don't have whiteheads. Watch this. I guess a big nose isn't all that bad, though. I can smell better, right? Wider noses, bigger nostrils, more lemon and lavender. If that's true, then I think we have a deal here. Just protect yourself. I don't want to see you broken again like that day in France. You've been crooked ever since, and I really do like how big you are, nose. Especially in the summer. You catch all the sun and freckles. You look different, but you look like you're living exactly how you're supposed to. Stay a while. Speaking of those little hairs in my nose, that's not the only place you grow them. I just wish you were consistent. You give my head, legs, arms such thick hair, but my chest is empty. And don't use this as a distraction from the sides of my head where you're growing some grays and whites. Everyone says it's just stress, but I'll tell you right now, I'm not scared of them. I don't mind going gray. Yeah, I don't want to go gray at 27 or 28, but when you tell me it's time, just tell me. Don't go behind my back. We can have that conversation any day you'd like. And if this hair thing is some sort of revenge for how I treated you, we can talk about that too. I tried to grow you long and you got so fluffy and frizzy that I had to blow dry you. That was nice, no? Keeping you warm like that, but then I stopped shampooing and conditioning you because the grease, natural of course, would make you easier to work with. And I felt prettier. And I know I just buzzed all your hair off. I needed to do it. It was like a shower. I got to start over in a way, but now I'm just waiting for it to grow back. I feel foolish about this in-between stage. 